In an effort to restructure the national carrier, the government has decided to sell 49% shares and administration of Sri Lankan catering and also 49% shares and administration in Sri Lankan Airlines ground handling to desiring investors, ports, shipping and aviation minister Nimal Sirapala da Silva said. Addressing a special press conference held today at the ministry regarding the restructuring of Sri Lankan Airlines, the minister stated, it is proposed to utilize the money that will be obtained by restructuring Sri Lankan Catering Limited and ground handling to settle the creditors of Sri Lankan Airlines. Ground handling was a good thing. The dollar millionaire, dollar billionaire, the 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 dollar he stated that currently the Sri Lankan catering is making profits to a certain extent and that therefore they have decided to sell 49% stake and administration of the Sri Lankan catering, while keeping 51% stake with the government. It is to incorporate a separate company as a subsidiary of Sri Lankan Airlines for the ground handling division with the respective assets and staff involved in ground handling. Upon such incorporation, 49% shares of the Sri Lankan Airlines and its management to be transferred to a competent investor chosen through a transparent procurement procedure. If the restructuring could be completed successfully, foreign debts of 175 million US dollars and the bank overdraft obtained from the Bank of Ceylon for 80 million US dollars could be repaid as priority payments. Further to that 80 million US dollars, the arrears amount due on aircraft leasing could be paid and then, there won't be any foreign debts to be paid. When 312 million US dollars, the arrears payments to Ceylon Petroleum Corporation is settled, the CPC will also turn out to be a financially stable institution. Therefore, we believe Sri Lankan Airlines, its debtors and its employees could only be protected through above restructuring process. Sri Lankan Airlines does not have the financial viability to repay the mortgages and loans it has obtained as the operation of the airline was severely affected for the past few years. Major drop in the tourism industry and the dwindling number of overseas visitors after Easter Sunday attack, COVID-19 pandemic, the global economic recession, severe economic crisis and political instability and social status in Sri Lanka have made a significant impact on Sri Lankan Airlines. Restructuring of Sri Lankan Airlines and obtaining capital investments is critically vital and if such capital infusion does not happen, the national carrier will certainly be grounded and the company will have to be closed down which would end up creating social chaos, as 6,370 local and foreign employees working for the airline covering areas of administration, cabin crew, aircraft maintenance engineers etc. will lose their jobs. It is the responsibility of the government to safeguard the employees of Sri Lankan Airlines and its subsidiaries. Cabinet. This will come before the cabinet within one or two weeks. Then the cabinet will have to be not, and I am sure that once the cabinet approves this, then we will uh, start voting for uh, expression of interest. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.